We are interested in phase transitions in uh, liquids. That is, transitions between two different liquid states with slightly different physical properties and transitions from the liquid to the crystal, in which it solidifies completely. We all know about liquid crystals. Uh, liquid crystals are a different liquid form in which there's a greater degree of ordering of the molecules. So when you cool down a liquid, uh, the molecules order themselves in the liquid crystal phase. And then when you cool down even further, uh, there's a greater degree of ordering when the crystal finally forms. So the liquid crystal makes it easier in its in essence for the, uh, for the liquid to crystallize. In our most recent work we studied uh, N-butanol, normal butanol. And the reason for that is that there's a recent uh, result by a Japanese group that showed that when you cool down butanol it formed droplets of a new phase and they said that this new phase was a strange uh, liquid phase. However, this result was highly controversial and some other researchers thought that this new phase was in fact uh, droplets of, uh, of nanocrystals in unconverted liquid. Uh, so we set out to, to prove or disprove this and investigate this new phase. We used a range of analytical techniques to study the precise nature of these butanol droplets. Initially we used polarization microscopy, which shows patterns that are consistent with a liquid crystal phase, but don't constitute absolute proof by themselves. So we also employed Raman spectroscopy and imaging, which proves that the droplets can only be a liquid crystal phase and are not simply made up of nanocrystals as previously thought. So we travelled down to Diamond Light Source in Oxford to conduct X-ray scattering experiments which we hoped would further reveal the structure of these strange liquid crystalline butanol droplets. So the spectra showed that there were two fairly intense bands and these corresponded to the short axis and the long axis of the butanol molecules. But what was strange was that the long axis corresponded to a distance which was twice the length of what a butanol molecule normally would. Now this indicated that it wasn't just a normal pneumatic liquid crystal where you would just get one repeat length where the molecules were orientated in the same direction. But this means that you have kind of what we're calling rippled lamellae uh, which point in alternate directions every time. So the last thing that we did was that we took spectra at different points around the droplet and this further confirmed what we got from the microscopy was that the liquid crystalline well the liquid crystal was oriented away from the center of the droplet towards the edge so hopefully behind me on the blue screen you can see a movie of what we call the cold crystallization cycle so once we've grown the liquid crystal droplet at very low temperature we heat it up again and allow the crystal to grow around it now you can see that the crystal grows around the droplet, but it doesn't penetrate into the droplet. So this shows that it's not that the liquid crystal is just an intermediate stage towards the crystal, but it's a different phase of its own which frustrates the formation of the crystal. And this is consistent with the Raman data which Chris has already explained. We believe that these types of structures uh, frustrating the formation of the crystal are quite common. It's just that in many cases you cannot actually observe them. And in this particular case, uh, the, the, the frustrating phase is a liquid crystal and is therefore more easily observable. We never believe that these sort of frustrated phases, as seen in, in butanol, are more common and may also be uh, the cause for uh, uh, the formation of glasses rather than crystals.